Hey, it's Brickzar. In this video, we're going to be looking at a Bricklink tutorial, and it's based on a bat question from Live Lego Mocker. And we talked about this in a previous video, but I wanted to give it some more consideration, and it's one that may need some input from you. So let's look at the question that Live Lego Mocker asked, and it's right here. It says, Bat, is there a way to filter stores that have the very thing I want so I don't have to buy from multiple stores? And to kind of interpret that, you might be wanting pieces for a set that you're trying to piece together, or you ha might have several sets that you want instead of buying one from this store and one from another, or a couple from this other store. Try to find a store that has them all. Well, it's not real easy, and another uh, YouTuber has mentioned some software that you can use, but first we're going to show you the old-fashioned way. So we're going to go over to Bricklink, and this is the home page for Bricklink. And if you've already set up your wanted list, and that's, that's what you want to do, make sure you already have the items in your wanted list. So we go to Wanted. And this is where you can add items manually. Usually what I do is if I come across something I see that I want, I just go ahead and add it. Or if I'm trying to add parts to a set, I do that. Uh, but we're not going to do that in this video. We're just going to show you how to check. So you got all these different options here, but you want to go over here and search by shop. And when you do that, you can choose either it's by the total lots, unique lots, minimum buy, store location. So here you can find stores that perhaps are closer or in your country, things like that. Um, but this is based on my wanted list. And whenever <laughs> you're doing things for my wanted list, it's always going to be the items that I want are usually going to be from sellers in other countries. <laughs> I'm in the United States, so here we got Germany, Fantastic Brick. And I'll tell you why Fantastic Brick is at the top here. They have 29 unique items, 144 lots. It's because Fantastic Brick has these bear bricks, these unusual test bricks. Uh, he's got a lot of, these are all his pictures of them. And this is one I've been eyeballing. I'm, I'm, I really want to pay less than $30 for that, but he's got a bunch of weird bricks. And I've been thinking about getting some, but I just don't want to pay $20 for a single brick. But they are hard to find, unusual molds and things like that. So that's why he's at the top of my list. And then Lillian's World. Now she's always up there. She has free shipping and handling. I have bought from her before. I can't remember if it was totally free. Anyway, uh, I got a lot of items. Some of these I actually need to take off because I already got them. Like these little dinosaur bags. I already got those. I think I already got this little Ollie keychain. I already got this. I think I got that display stand. Uh, sometimes I just leave, if they're unusual items, I just leave them in my wanted list because sometimes you might come across somebody who's selling them cheap. But her prices are high because she offers free shipping and handling. So it's not technically free. Her prices are usually double, triple, four times what other sellers are selling them for. But she does have a lot of things that other people don't have. So that's the other thing you got to consider in this is just because you found a seller that has a lot of the things that you want, the prices may not be conducive to buying from his store. And we'll look at another one here. Duplo parts. <laughs> Duplo dinosaurs. Um, in fact, I almost bought from him. I like these little ball tubes. It's, a lot of these parts are to some of the Duplo dino sets that uh, most people aren't even selling them complete. Because just nobody has them. So. That's, and that's, that's how you can find different things. Uh, I guess this is, but it's not perhaps the easiest thing to do, but because uh, usually I'll find a seller that has maybe four or five lots that I'm wanting, but when I put everything in my shopping cart, then I go look at his store terms, like let's go here to the splash page, and sometimes I'll have the shipping and handling. I always look at that, the ones in Germany. Let's see here. It's all in German. And they write so much. Now, now here's where we start getting into the shipping costs. And 
it's just sometimes, and here's, he's got it in English. This is typical right here. This is actually pretty good. And it's usually what I look for, but a lot of times it's going to fit in this category. So, I, so anyway, buying by that method or searching by that method, let me go back to my brick link. Again, that's under wanted, and you want to go by shop. That's where you can find the most unique items. And then I, somebody else, want, I think Brick Adjuster wanted me to show my wanted list again. We'll do that eventually. There's just kind of a brief overview of the categories in my wanted list. See, I got a lot of things in my wanted list. Not necessarily all of them are parts that I actually want. Sometimes it's more when people list something, I want to see what they're selling it for. <laughs> Or if it's something I've never seen for sale, I want to see if they're selling it. So if that's something you'd like me to do, again, showing my wanted list, I want to kind of clean it up a little bit. And I actually need to add some things to it. Uh, let me know. I know Brick Jester, like I said, has already asked that. But there's a software, and I have not had time to research it. All right, there, here, Mr. Dragon 411 said there's a program called Brick Wizard that you use to save your inventory from Brick Store, which is another software, and find the best combination. So, and it's not to be confused with the YouTuber Brick Wizard. <laughs> but I actually saved it on my computer. It's got a little purple brick. And I haven't figured out how to use it yet, so I'm not ready to do a tutorial. But basically, you got to have a wanted list that you save in your Brick Store software. And then you import that into Brick Wizard and it finds a store. And I just randomly tried something and it turned up this store that didn't have anything in my wanted list. So I, <laughs> I got to figure it out. So, um, yeah, I, so it seems like a good idea. And once I get my, it involves some extra steps. So I'm sure once you learn it, it's probably simple, but basically I got to show you how to use Brick Wizard and show you how to use Brick Store, which I don't really use Brick Store a lot for my personal collection and wanted list, but obviously it's got a lot of power to it and uh, usefulness in that way, so it's something I need to, to uh, start thinking about using Brick Store and this, perhaps this Brick Wizard. So anyway, that was the question from Lego Live Lego Marker, and appreciate the question. I hope this answered it and showed you that there are maybe some features on BrickLink that you haven't noticed before. And I learned something from Mr. Dragon 411 about this Brick Wizard. Something I got to learn to uh, to use and see if this uh, Brick Wizard software is actually good. And no, the Brick Wizard. I don't think BrickLink will ever shut down, but then again, Woolworths went out of business, so who knows? Anyway, thanks for that. If you have any back questions or you have any BrickLink tutorials you think I should do, let me know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. It's BrickSar.